The GitLab agent for Kubernetes allows a secure bidirectional connection between GitLab and any Kubernetes cluster without the need to expose your cluster to the internet. It also streamlines any GitLab to Kubernetes integration tasks, facilitating your GitOps workflows. And it supports GitLab's pull-based and push-based approaches to GitOps for Kubernetes. In this short video, we review how you can delete a GitLab agent for Kubernetes from the GitLab user interface, a capability introduced in GitLab 14.7 that can streamline the management of your registered agents and increase your productivity. As you can see in this pre-14.7 screen, you were unable to delete an agent via the UI. The agent could only be removed through the GraphQL API. In other words, you had to assemble the GraphQL API with the correct parameters and then run it from the command line or a GraphQL tool. Let's see how 14.7 makes the deletion of a GitLab agent for Kubernetes straightforward from the user interface. From this project, let's navigate to the Kubernetes clusters window. In this screen, you can see the same agent as in the previous screen with a trash can icon to its right. There are a couple of situations where you want to delete a registered agent for Kubernetes. If you would like to disconnect your GitLab instance from a Kubernetes cluster, then deleting a registered agent will accomplish this without affecting the running cluster. When you delete the agent, GitLab revokes its tokens and the given connection stops working immediately. In another situation, you may have already brought down or deleted your Kubernetes cluster and then you like to clean up the agents that point to non-existent clusters, which is what you see on this screen. You can see the connection status is not connected because the Kubernetes cluster has already been brought down. However, the agent is still registered for it. So let's clean this registered agent by deleting it from the agent's connections list. Let's click on the trash icon and clear the registered agent from the list. We have reviewed how you can delete a GitLab agent for Kubernetes from the GitLab user interface, a capability introduced in GitLab 14.7 that can streamline the management of your registered agents and increase your productivity. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time. Yeah.